Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and Make3DComics.com. And I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but today I'm back. Today I'd like to talk about my new process for creating characters. The base figures I've used have changed. Stay tuned. Now, before I begin with the rest of the video, I have a question for you. In the comments section below, let me know which base figure you're using currently and why it's your favorite. I'm just curious to get different perspectives. So now moving on, I'd like to take this as an opportunity to thank everyone for continuing to watch and to leave comments and all the videos that I've posted. I'd also like to take this as an opportunity to let you know what I've been up to and why I haven't been making videos as regularly as I would have wanted. Uh, number one, I've released my second book. It's entitled Visions, and it's the second installment of my Afrofuturistic comic series entitled Black Sun, The Longest Night. The second part of releasing a book is marketing and is the marketing and promotion of that book. So I've been lining up appearances at events to present my work to people in person. And you can check out some of what I've been doing and some of where I've been on my Instagram feed. Just look up Black Sun Comics on Instagram and you can find all those photos and videos there. I've also been working with a writer on upcoming stories as a way to take some of the burden off of myself so that um, I can do more things like this, like make uh, YouTube videos. So now that I've gotten those housekeeping items out of the way, let's continue with today's topic. So like the video said, my character creation process has changed, folks. A while ago, I did a video series on how I create characters using Daz Studio. I've actually included a link to it in this video, so you can check that out if you want. That process is older, but it's still valid. It's not the method that I use currently, but it is still a good process. It really kind of depends on what, uh, what your goals are artistically. Uh, so I, I advise that you check that out as well. Previously, I was using the first generation Genesis base figure to create all of my characters. Now I'm using Genesis 2 male for all my male characters and Genesis 3 female for all my female characters. And I know those are not the most recent um, updates in regards to base figures, but uh, I will admit that I'm not a, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? I'm not an early adopter when it comes to uh, new technology and Daz Studio. Once I find a process that works, I stick with it. And if that process isn't broken, then I don't fix it. So with all that being said, you might be asking, well, why did you even bother switching? Well, here's the reason. Well, it's a few reasons, but I'll start with this one. It started with this product, which is called Animated Shapes for Genesis 2 Male. I wanted a more stylized, cartoonish look for my characters, and this product seemed to fit the bill. If they made a version for this, if they made a version of this for Genesis 1, I would have picked it up, but since they it's only compatible with the Genesis 2 male base figure, you know, I had to upgrade. I have to say that it was worth the investment. I'm glad with the purchase that I've made. I think it's really helped to improve the overall look of my characters. But that being said, it's not all sunshine and lollipops. Uh, the only problem, well, one of the only problems is that there was no female equivalent. Uh, I know that Animated Shapes has been out for a few years. I don't remember exactly when it was released, but there's no female equivalent. So originally I wanted to use Genesis 2 female, but I looked at some of the figures for, for that and they just really didn't fit what I needed. I took a look at Ico. I took a look at the, the girls version 7, I think. 6 or 7, I forget which one is compatible with Genesis 2 female. Uh, but none of those really seemed to fit the bill. <clears throat> and then finally I came across uh, this one here which is star 2.0 for Genesis 3 female. And this matched everything that I needed and I felt that it was a good complement for the animated shapes product for Genesis 2 male. Uh, I like the slender frame and the elongated arms and legs. And the benefit to star 2.0 is that it's based on the Genesis 3 female figure. So I could use some of the morphs that I already had for Genesis 3 female with this. So, you know, I could really do a good job customizing it and making the figure look however I needed it to look. Previously, the Genesis 3 female morphs I would use to, um, I would use the Generation X2 plugin to make those compatible with Genesis 1. And I've included a link to that video to show you how I do that as well, in case you're interested. So now that I've settled on some base figures, the animated shapes for Genesis 2 male and star 2.0 for Genesis 3 female, you might be saying to yourself, well, yes, this is where the sunshine and lollipops I'll take place. And the answer, unfortunately, is no, not quite. Upgrading your base figures comes with a host of other factors and headaches that uh, you might not have considered. 
I'm going to talk about some of those things in my next video, not as a way to deter you, but to try and give you a better understanding of what you might be getting into. I find that there's a lot of loose ends, things that you never even really considered that start to pop up when you upgrade a figure. And uh, I'm going to, well, I'm going to tackle those issues in some upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click like, please subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care. Peace. Have you ever wanted to make a comic using software like Daz Studio or Poser, but weren't quite sure where to begin? Well, I can start you on the right path. Visit make3dcomics.com where you can subscribe to an email newsletter that will provide you with even more tips on how to make your comics and graphic novels using Daz Studio. These are the same tips and techniques that I use to create my project entitled Black Sun The Longest Night. You'll get exclusive access to information about the behind the scenes process of writing, the business of self-publishing, and all the finer details of digital illustration using 3D scene and character creation software. Remember that the information is only available to those who sign up. It's absolutely free, so visit make3dcomics.com, that's make3dcomics.com with the number 3, and sign up today. You owe it not only to yourself, but the world to bring your graphic novel to life. Let me help you do it.